Okay, all right. Wait, all right, let's go. Come on. I'm waiting for this guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys ready? <laughs> What's up, everybody? And welcome back to Italian Football TV, the Serie A audio experience with IFTV. It's getting ra more rare these days to have all four of us together. <laughs> Antonio's busy. Gaetano's busy. Now Michael starts telling me he's busy. But we're making time for this podcast. Uh, I just want to remind everyone, we have 24 hours left on our deal. 15% off worldwide for our cultural shirts. They're on our website right now. Every color. 24 hours ends July 6th at midnight. We've got huge news that I know someone at this table is going crazy. He's excited. He has nonstop in our WhatsApp group message saying, I can't wait till it happens. Is it official? Is it not official? Antonio, Ronaldo to the Serie A. He's, you, he, he couldn't ha uh, handle his excitement, right? He just That's wanted true, to talk about podcast about you it. You kept messaging us about it. Is it like official? I am. I really don't care about Ronaldo. He only said Ronaldo is the last one that I wanted to see in Serie A, okay? Wow. The last one? Yeah, because what I wanted the kids to get the wrong messages, okay? About being Soccer, a winner? It's not about Cristiano Ronaldo pulling his shirts <laughs> up or uh, doing the pump up. or the, It's the, about winning. Pumping the, this muscle before he takes the free kick or takes four, four steps back, six steps sideways. What is this, a dance, uh, the dance of the crabs? Ronaldo, the it's, the crabs. Not, it's not a Serie A player. Okay. We're not going to be paying that kind of money just to see Ronaldo. Who's just we? Shirts. Who's we? we? The Italian football. <laughs> the okay. Italian football team. You're going to sign them. They're not going to buy <laughs> you, them. You're buying, uh, the, oh, we're paying. you're buying Ronaldo? We're paying. Okay, guys. So, uh, Ronaldo to Juventus every day. It seems like it heats up more and more. Um, there were rumors. They started out as rumors. Usually, you hear this throughout the Mercato that, you know, it's going to happen, it's going to happen, and nothing ever materializes. Today, the latest news for everybody who's been following our daily videos where we've been posting even on social media. Every hour, things are changing, but the latest right now, and this comes from the best sources in Italy, Di Marcio Sky Italia, he says that Jorge Mendez received a verbal agreement from Florentino Perez of Real Madrid that Real Madrid will accept 100 million for Ronaldo, he does have a one billion release clause. This is serious, but apparently they're willing to go to 100 million to get this deal done. Juventus have already agreed. Let me say that again. Already agreed a contract with Cristiano Ronaldo, four-year deal, 30 million a year, and Ronaldo is pushing for this move to Juventus. This is where he wants to go. They're talking that. He could potentially become an ambassador of Ferrari with this deal and Fiat because of the ownership and the family that are, you know, all tied together between Juventus and Ferrari. And they are saying that they want the unveiling to be this Saturday, but it's not expected to go through. And um, last news, his author, the author of a Ronaldo book came out saying that he, in his head, Ronaldo is already a Juventus player. And his agent today was forced to comment on things. And Jorge Mendes said... If Ronaldo leaves Madrid, he'll be grateful to this club, the president, and the fans. If it happens, if he leaves, it'll be for a great team. I think this is crazy. Uh, just just by him agreeing to come to the Serie A, to come to Juventus, I already think that's a, a huge step to where the Serie A is going. And Antonio, go don't cut him off. Don't cut him off. Don't you guys read this whole thing? <laughs> I think it's not Ronaldo wanted to come to Juventus. It's more Real Madrid that wants to get rid of him. This guy's got nothing left. This guy's like a damaged good. Nobody wants him now. Mm. They have all of this publicity, publicity stunt at all. Ronaldo, like you, who cares about Ronaldo? I do. We Nobody all do. Cares Everybody about but you him. cares about this, him. This big. I this think you're the only one who doesn't care. You're not care. gonna you win anything. He's got nothing left. Nothing. Check this out. Oh, <laughs> what is it? What and is that's it? what they want. The ladies, they want to see the muscles and all stuff. <laughs> you know, this is another thing that I want to expand to our great platforms already. <laughs> I wanted to know from the there. viewership of uh, IFTV, yeah. but in particular the ladies, <laughs> okay. okay, what do they think about Ronaldo and what are they coming to the stadium for? Do they come to watch the, the good looking soccer player or do they want to look the, to come and watch soccer? I don't think it's just the ladies, I, I think the men too. <laughs> I see Michael over there, he was fixing his hair. Look, he got a haircut oh, today to look boy. like Ronaldo. He, made himself, oh, boy. he told me he was going to do some blonde streaks oh. next time. Oh. Boy, we have a problem anyway, here. But before I throw you complaints, can, I, we, can we comment, comment on yeah, the situation? Yeah, I think that would be so great for Serie A to have uh, such a great player. I mean, I know he's 34 years old. 33. 
33? He'll be 34 soon. Come on, the guy's But he will still have a few years left. The guy's in great, great shape. He takes care of his... Uh, he works out every day. ...of his body, works out. And uh, I think he's got a few years left. And uh, what this would mean for Juventus, this is uh, this would mean a champions a Champions League Next level. title. Okay, that's that's what it means for Juventus. I don't Juventus. think so. I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's a lot of money, but if you if Juventus can uh, can afford to to pay for it, uh, great. So we're cheering for Ronaldo for Serie A. We're cheering for Comiso, like we said the last mm. time, for uh, Serie A. So good things uh, can happen to Serie A. I think it will, will uh, for um, maybe the Serie A will move up another notch. I okay. completely agree with you. First off, I just want to say that this deal is not done. They're still, of course, with these kinds of huge deals, you know, they're saying that since January, Juventus have been negotiating for this. I still feel like something's going to fall through and it's not going to happen. I'm a little bit pessimistic on the situation. But to comment on what my dad said, I think that this is going to be the single greatest thing for the Serie A since Inter won the treble. The greatest relevation. Because you have no idea, my phone, since the moment that this has gone serious, this is global news. People who don't watch football, who just know me from high school or just know that I love Juventus, are ringing my phone like crazy. People who just love Ronaldo saying, Marco, where can I get a Juventus jersey for Ronaldo? That says it all. Even the kids that we talk to outside that don't, that hate Serie A. You know, obviously, Michael and I, when we always talk to the kids, we're like, oh, you got to like, like Palermo or something. You know, we try to brainwash them. Literally yesterday, K came up to me. I'm a Juventus fan now. Listen. Maybe it's not the best way to become a Juventus fan, but Listen. that's what Juventus are trying to reach outside of Italy. There is no greater person, marketing-wise, than Cristiano Ronaldo for the beautiful game. And it's, it's a lot of money, but you're going to make that money back in jersey sales. Listen, you're talking about Juventus. You're not talking about soccer in general, okay? We've been saying I'm talking about Juventus years. and Serie A and Serie A. The that this soccer has been driven by money and not by the game itself. This guy, this Cristiano Ronaldo, it's nothing but a publicity stunt. It's been brought in just to sell shirts, not because to showcase his, uh, his quality. That's what football is He's today. Done. This that's, guy that's what, is that's done. That's what football is today, so Antonio. He, what he's going to do is going to send the wrong message, even to the Lakers room or Juventus. You're going to tell me if, if I'm Dybala, I'm going to just have Cristiano so Ronaldo excited. sitting next to me making 10 times uh, the, more, the, more money than I make. I would say... Myself, Tibala said, hey, Cristiano, it was nice meeting you. He said, you come into Juventus, I'm going to come Real Madrid. Come on. Ronaldo, <laughs> I would be the first one on. to jump on Ronaldo, the plane Ronaldo Real wasn't making that money at 24 yeah. years old like, like Dybala was. He's, he's at 33. He's won how many Ballon d'Ors and how many Champions Leagues in his career. So how can you say that they should be making them the same money? Forget about that for a second. I do still think that you know he's trying to negotiate with Real Madrid to get a better deal. Like I don't think that he's going to go to Juventus. But... If this happens, it's the biggest thing for the Serie A. I, Antonio, I get your perspective. I get that you don't like that it's about that, but it really is about image. They were saying today that Juventus sells 19 times less, 19 times less in merchandise than Manchester United. And Juventus is trying to create a global brand. They need to reach that market and hit that. And who else besides Cristiano Ronaldo? Since 2007, when they came back to Serie B, they've been building and creating a structure that they're able to afford this. We saw many times Juventus selling players like Vidal, selling players like Pogba when they're calling them a selling club. Then, you know, two years ago, we saw Iguain was bought. They showed that they could do this, but they were always selling first. This is the first year in a long time that they're, that they're buy. buying first. It's a huge sign. Sure. It's great for the Serie A because then buy Messi. Okay. Messi. Oh, now, now you want to buy Messi. Okay. Now you want to Messi. Milan will buy Messi. Oh, wow. Well, hey, listen. <laughs> now you're gonna be happy. Pay Comiso. <laughs> Please pray in the Lord. If Comiso, if Rocco gets what gets his hands on AC Milan, yeah, Rocco can pull out, can pull the trigger and, and get Messi to uh, to come to Serie A. But don't you see how amazing it is to bring it is, to bring nice. a spark back to Serie A? I get that you don't like that it's about that these days that kids follow whatever maybe what he does on social media this guy's got 200 million followers on social media that's huge that's part of your transfer fee that's why pogba was bought by manchester united it's marketing that's how it is today and whose idea is to bring ronaldo and, no no and, Wait, and, whose idea is to bring ronaldo to and Yelly. Agnelli or Allegri? Agnelli. I'm sure yeah. Allegri doesn't have this Allegri, big of a yeah, pole. No what do you mean he doesn't have this? He's no. the coach. Apparently Come they knew this no. from this Mozart, right? Right? This is above Allegri. The ones that bring the, the players to the club is the money. 
Yeah, that's that's, that's who brings the, the one. So, Rick, but, but, wait, wait, so you don't get Allegri is not Ronaldo to win the Champions League. Yes, yeah, you are. Course. You still are. You're getting both. You, you asked yeah. me a question. Who's bringing Ronaldo? It's the, the club that brings Ronaldo, not Allegri. Allegri, yeah, he will want Messi, he will want this guy. But if the club cannot afford that, you, you can only uh, get what you can afford. So that's how, how it is uh, done. Uh, that's how business is done. So now, finally... You know, maybe Agnelli wants to wants to do something. Uh, and you do know. you actually think that and Ronaldo is going to put bank. Juventus over but, the top? But yeah. Yeah, of yeah, course, I think so. yeah. of you course. don't think they can take the chance. I wanna... just have one word to throw right now. Well, actually, a couple words. What do you think of, if this goes through? What, what happens with Buffon now? Buffon's rumored to go to PSG, and now he leaves Tomorrow when when, it, when the best player in the world joined Juventus, and you know yeah, that part's they're probably going to be favored in the Champions up. League. The one year that Marco, we that you decide to break the bank and get Cristiano Ronaldo, you let Buffon say go. the information about Buffon so we can talk about him a little uh, bit. He's going to have his medical tomorrow, probably today when you're watching, and Monday will be announced by wow. PSG. Well, wow. the PSG, to PSG. Yeah. You know, the thing is that crazy, Buffon, right? I stop. think, was making what four million. Yeah, something. Now like. it's making what eight million. So yeah, it's like double. But you so don't think he'd rather win? You don't think he'd rather win? He's gonna laugh all the way to the bank, <laughs> and yes, he's looking for a P- championship. PSG, but Juventus, the money, Champions League final. Yeah, the the, <laughs> the money helps too. I wonder what's There's more valuable to me. I remember, I remember 1975 uh, when Pele came to the New York Cosmos. Mm-hmm. Okay, he signed for seven million dollars. Now that seemed like it, a it billion. It was the right? highest <laughs> bid. At any, you can't even get Kalinic for that a, price now. Any player. <laughs> Had, had ever <laughs> been sold for, <laughs> so he was making I think seven million, and one of the reason he came to United States because he only played for one team and one team mm-hmm. only, uh, the money had something to do with it. So oh, even at Pelé's level, yeah, when you the, when the money is there, money talks. You say right? We, money we talks. were we were going through some quotes today because we're doing something special, and we saw one of the quotes that Ronaldo said and that he believes in, and he says, "I believe that if you want to be the best player, you need to be able to prove it." in multiple leagues, not just stay in one place and do it. So I think that this is also a sign, you know, while he is going to make more money than he is at Real Madrid, he's at 21 million a season at Real Madrid. And we know he wants to get closer to that 40 of uh, Messi. I think that it's also a challenge for him. He City is not going to be an easy place. Yeah. I know it's it just, it's it's beautiful to see what's going around right now where people want to watch the Serie A. It's been a long time that nobody wants to watch. Over two days, and this is a stat, official stat, Juventus' stock has risen 22% from 665 million to 825 million just with these just rumors, rumors just with these rumors of Ronaldo Did you own the Juventus stock by the way none of my business I do oh, You do okay. yeah. oh, Mar- Marcus going to eat some steak tonight then uh, <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, but uh, listen, and, and, uh, I, I just uh, still believe that this whole thing here is just very bad for soccer in general. I mean, if you were Cristiano Ronaldo, this guy's got everything that he wishes in life to have and more, okay? So what, what, why is making you angry the idea that Messi or Neymar are making more money than you? We're not and in you think situations. that you're better than them, so that way I'm going to show them that I'm not going to be second to anybody. Maybe so it's let not me just go that, to Juventus. Though. This is another reason that I think if he's going to leave, it's going to be about taxes. When those guys, they're getting paid the $10, I think $7 of those, uh, of those $10, they're going to taxes because Spain is one of the highest taxation system in all Europe. I think Juve, it's $30 million after taxes. Thirty million after taxes. That's what I've heard, yeah. Wow. So what and is he making I'm, now in Spain? $21 million after taxes? I, I don't know for sure. Well, I can't, to, I can't quote it and say. Out. I can't quote it and say because every league... Uh, reports there's a little bit different. Don't forget that Messi almost went after. to jail for this. Him and his father. They for, didn't uh, almost uh, go to jail. To, excuse they me? never almost they go to jail. They say that, but you know Come how they say, say They have some bill money well, and they're I, I like They what? are penalizing a similar for $32 million, okay? And now <laughs> where we are throwing hundreds of million dollars to those... Uh, now to we. Those, uh, I mean, Juventus <laughs> is throwing all of those uh, millions and millions yeah. of dollars to those, uh, you know... Yeah. Uh, Hyper crazy superstars, quote unquote. For me, Ronaldo is not but a superstar. It, but it's it's not always been this way. You say it like it's so simple. There was a time when Juventus, we were losing Verratti over five million euros because you couldn't spend that money. You build up, you build a plan. This is 
10 years, 12 years in the making of getting to the point of being able to afford a structure that you could spend 30 million. The highest paid player at Juventus right now is seven and a half million with Gonzalo Higuain. Now they're able to afford 30 million. Whether it happens or whether it doesn't happen, it's a huge sign for so Juventus. So who are they gonna sell for Cristiano Ronaldo? Who knows, who knows? They're saying Higuain, they say Pjanic, who knows? I don't think they have to sell. The money is not an issue. Uh... I, I never, I, I listen. What I've been saying, I told Michael a month ago when Cancelo arrived at Juventus, Jorge Mendes was behind him. And I told Michael, I said, Cristiano Ronaldo's Juventus, you think it would happen? I know for sure the money is there. It's just if it could happen, if he wants to go. And he said that um, a lot of his reasoning is also because of his relationship with Juventus. He grew up liking Juventus, the fans, all this kind of stuff. Who knows if it's real? Listen, Bobo knowing, Vieri, knowing Agnelli, Agnelli is not going to buy Ronaldo. So just get your all, all your hyped up uh, ideas. So why are you getting so mad? Why are you getting so mad? It's all garbage. Um, Too much gossip, and Bobo, right? Bobo Vieri commented on the situation and he said, for Italian football, Ronaldo coming to Italy would be like us winning the lottery. Zanetti commented on it. He said that I don't personally care mm -hmm. about it, but he says this would be great for the Serie A. So a lot of people um, getting involved. And I think that the biggest sign for me, I wasn't believing any of the rumors. I always wait till somebody real says it, not just Tuto Sport who you know throws out everything every year. Um, I think it was Marotta who was asked, can the Juventus fans dream about Cristiano Ronaldo? And he said no comment. And he had a little smile on his face. Mm. And Marotta's very known... There's only been a handful of times that I can remember, and I believe it was with Pirlo, and I believe it was with Pogba, where he didn't comment on a situation. He always, even with Iguain and Pjanic, he always comes out and says, no, 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 it's not gonna happen, it's not gonna happen. When they say no comment, I do think with Marotta and with Juventus' philosophy, who always come out and deny things right away, and especially Real Madrid, they were linked to Kylian Mbappe. So you guys are learning from AC Milan. AC Milan, they're always quiet before any major deal. How are we learning from AC Milan? You can't pay $32 million to the oh bank and we're playing $30 million a season for our player. Easy, you, easy, said easy, easy, easy. you said it's not going to happen. You said it's not going to happen. Show no respect, this guy. Not I'm not happen. showing no respect. I, 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 I wish me. Listen, it's great for Milan too. This is great. I know that a lot of the fans want to say that it's not good. So some of them do and some of them don't, but I think that this is just a stepping stone that it's everyone needs. It's good for all the teams. The whole league. league. When Ronaldo goes and play in, uh, in in Naples, when Ronaldo goes and play in Bologna, when Naples uh, goes and play in Sampdoria, Genoa, you know, the people are going to, they're going to go to the stadium. They're going to go for Cristiano Ronaldo. Of course. Not for, for that's game. good. But, no. but that's good. It brings eyes at the end of the He's saying it as a negative. Wh whether it comes with a player oh, to damn. see him oh, yeah. or whether it is all eyes. There's going to be a lot. Maybe they want to go get a new hairstyle oh, idea. You want to win another campionato? Hey, you I don't need Cristiano Ronaldo League. to win to win the campionato. We're talking about Champions League. Lewandowski. He's a better, uh, you know, you can use him for five or six years. Cristiano Ronaldo, one year, two years, stop. That's it. They're not on the same level, though. Let's be they're honest. not at the same level? No. I don't know about that. Well, maybe you're right, maybe you're wrong. What, uh, what I was going to ask you guys, what do you guys think that uh, Antonio Conte is thinking right now? He left Juventus because they couldn't sign players. He's like, he crap, famous, I should have stayed a couple he, more seasons. He famously, infamously <laughs> said, you can't spend, you can't go to a $100 restaurant with $10 in your pocket, which is what right. he said when Juventus and, got right. out of the at, Champions At that league. time, he wanted a player for 40 million, Quadrado. For 40 million uh, euros. So he, st he told... Uh, uh, the uh, Juventus it says, you know, I need a player, a forty million dollar or forty million euros player. At that time, forty million was one of the top players yeah. as, as a center forward, and they said no. Then they went out and spent ninety million on Higuain. Oh, a few geez. seasons later, a few seasons later. It's, it's a tell to where yeah, things so went, but so I wonder what he, he's thing, probably how infuriated. How the things it's changed crazy. within a few years. Remember, we were just talking about how Allegri, um, he he rejected the offer to Real Madrid. Yeah. I think he knew something that yeah. we didn't back then, right? He's like, no, I don't want to go there. I love you, man. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, look, it looks like we're you not going to come If you're there. a good coach, you don't brag well, about it. Things, jobs you didn't take. He didn't okay? brag. He didn't brag. He didn't brag. So I think we're bragging about yeah, how, we're how bragging. we so stayed. All. I think that's this guy bragging. here is getting on the on, How, on how the many best. coaches could uh, say uh, no to Real This guy is getting on the same track of Sarri. Sarri, you know, he's, oh, he's, he talks to the Laurentiis. He goes to dinner with them and all the stuff. And then the second, the day after, he's signing. He already signed his contract with somebody else. What, do you guys think that this sends a message to teams like Milan or Inter or Roma who want to fight for the Starting Scudetto to next buy season? Millions to be like, for oh, superstar. guys, listen, we're going to have to step up. Not not necessarily, you're not going to buy a Ronaldo, but it's like, oh, we can't mess around right now. This is, 
you know, maybe it was close last season, but they're stepping up by buying Ronaldo. 100%. Don't you think it's, uh, it's competitive? Actually, they're sending the opposite message. What they're going to do, teams like AC Milan, like Inter and everybody else. Keep Borini, keep No, Palinic. they're going to fish into <laughs> the youth and they're going to show the, the old leaguers that you can just spend as many millions as you want. We got them we in the Primavera, right? They're not famous now, but they're going to kick you, Cristiano Ronaldo's <laughs> ass. Let me ask you a question. Okay? If you had the opportunity to swap Cutrone and Ronaldo, would you take Never, it? Never. We keep Cutrone. Always. <laughs> How about Chahanalu or Ronaldo? Chahanalu. I'll keep him Chanaloglu too. Oh, wow. Jesus. That's interesting. Okay. How about Calabria? Calabria, I'll keep Calabria too. <laughs> so, uh, hold on. Let me just make this clear. Hey, Milan, you're going to win the Champions League uh, this year. They're not going to be in the Champions League, but they're going to win the Champions League. Those are the youngsters. Those Let are me the ask, one, uh, okay. Calabria is in front of you and Ronaldo, right? You're making yeah. your team for Milan. You say, I got one pick. Who do you pick? Calabria. They're two different roles to begin with, but I'll keep Calabria. The guy's got a future. He's got, this guy's going to be playing on the Italian national team. He's going to be playing for uh, Mancini. Mark my word. Okay. It's not that hard to play out, today. No. July 5th, Calabria is playing for the Italian national team. All right, respect. Um, I know we have a lot of... And Ronaldo is not going to play for the Italian national team. That's what you have to build on. Well, he kind of can. It's a little too late for that. I know we have a lot of questions that Michael has rallied up. But before we do that, there's a lot of um, rumors and a uh, bunch of stuff. So Kalinic is apparently close to his move to Atletico Madrid. Mm -hmm. um, they're just finalizing the last details. He's okay with now going to Atletico. Are you happy that uh, Kalinic is going to go? Listen, this probably was one of the, the, the rumors that was in Kalinic's in college is shared even before he went to the World Cup then he, he went to the World Cup and somehow he misbehaved over there he was sent back home his situation was never a good situation neither on AC Milan nor in the, on the national team that's why they didn't see him fit enough mentally Probably. to be able to play at the, at the level that he's accustomed to play so that's what they did I think AC Milan is trying to get rid of him and the, the, the Italian national, uh, national team coach they saw that he was not going to be contributing to the to the you know uh, to the squad yeah. they said hey have a nice day go home i'm surprised that let you go on some though see me want to yeah, see something that like Gattuso guy. doesn't though come on that's, hey, that's hey, kind of crazy a, he, listen he didn't perform in Milan, but he did very well in fiorentina that's the year true. before that yeah. doesn't tell me no no yeah, yeah. you know he was, he was a very good player for fiorentina. you don't judge a player just on, on, a, on a very bad season so uh, I guess, I guess. we still have faith on uh, andre silva who knows that's true he's still young he's still awesome still young. Yeah, they say he's staying Boateng, Kevin Prince Boateng. I don't know if you remember him. He signed for Sassuolo today. Remember nice X little, Milan? Yeah, that was a nice yeah. little one. Oh. Comiso, still unknown. Everything's unknown. Um, Inter signed Politano. You guys mm. think this is a good signing for Inter, Politano? A lot of people have been asking us. I just say, I don't know if Politano can do it. He's bright, but he's better than Candreva if he plays on the right oh, wing. Anybody I think than he's taken from Sassuolo too young. I don't think he's that, he's that X factor yet. I feel like a lot of these players are picked too early before they actually blossom, and they're not, and they're not uh, ripe enough to play for a bigger team. That's what I feel like's happening. But let's see, maybe Bolitano could prove me wrong, and he could be a starter. I mean, over Candreva, it's not that much harder to, to be a starter for Candreva, to be <laughs> for honest. For so, me, Berardi's got much, much. Let me ask Berardi you something. might go to Milan. Oh, I wish. Let, let me ask you something because they're reporting Zaza to oh, yeah. AC Milan. Yeah, mm. that's right. Okay, so now who are you going to get rid of? Uh -oh. Zaza. Well, we got rid of Kalinic. Oh, but you have uh, you have a couple of players. You uh, got Zaza can play with Cutrone. I, I, I can see him. Uh, both Zaza's him great. You him like Cutrone you look like Zaza a little bit. You like Zaza? Zaza? I mean, I, I think Zaza better than Kalinic. I mean, uh, you know, for what I have seen last yeah. year. I mean, uh, last championship. I haven't seen much. I think Zaza did very well in. Uh, He's a hungry player. Playing. He's yeah. a very hungry player. How old is Zaza now? Twenty-seven. Yeah, no, kind of probably even less. Probably twenty-six. 26. People just give him too much hate because of the penalty that he did, which I don't think is you know merited. Just because, you know. 27. Yeah. We 27, so it's good. I'll take Zaza. Talking about Zaza and the penalty, we'll go to the World uh -oh. Cup. I know we got our brackets to go. But oh, one yeah. thing that's been on our minds, Michael and I's mind, is we're just talking about how all these big teams are going out of the World Cup. You know, we, we know we saw Argentina. We saw Germany. We saw all these guys going out. Don't you think Italy's 2016, 2016 team, I'm sorry, Conte's. with Conte, would have kicked the ass in this tournament? They would have just never let down for a second. I mean, Giacchini would have had the most assists. Graziano Pelle would be a Golden Boot Award. But uh, they'd still be in the Cup, tournament. There's so many sure. surprises. The, the team that's, uh, that's playing harder is, is pretty much winning. And all the big teams are out so I keep far. thinking what Conte is doing, watching on TV. Um, He's like, like just, just shaking thinking, his head yeah, like, jeez. Like, man. I could have done this over here. Like, wow. this would have been my opportunity for a World Cup. 
Yeah, the, the, the way things uh, worked out uh, with uh, Sweden, you know, you imagine the if First we in a there. group, who would have known? Right. Uh, in Germany out. If we, if yeah, we they're were. A good team. Listen, I'm happy that Germany is out, Spain is out. Argentina. Oh. Argentina is out. Now, uh, hopefully, England. Portugal's out. Portugal is out. Thank ah, you. For, oh, what happened with Cristiano Ronaldo? We, we <laughs> out. That good. Oh, he's bye out. bye. Okay, so. He's thinking of uh, Juventus. He's so gonna get the, the, I nearly the showed other, him the keys to the Ferrari. He's like, oh, get out of this team. The other two teams that I want out, and then anybody else can win, will be France, England, England, Brazil, and Brazil. You said two, but right, you two, said three. Teams, those three. Any one of anybody else can win. I'm happy. It's yeah. like I won the championship. Yeah, yeah. So. I agree. Let's talk about the World Cup in general. Before we look at our predictions and, and what, we, what we chose, what was your biggest surprise and what were you most happy for? For me, I got to say that I was going crazy when Colombia were able to come into the match with just 30 oh, seconds wow. left, um, you know, tie the match, go into overtime, and then penalty kicks. It's, it's the essence of what bad. the World Cup is about. It's just that, not, like, Colombia were bad. This is the worst Columbia I've watched in a long time. They used to play so they were they used to be really great players. For some reason, it wasn't clicking this year, and I think a lot of the Colombians knew that they were always on the back foot against Quadrado England. Didn't have a good Quadrado game. didn't do anything. Falcao was always off. James, James was injured. Yeah. So yeah. Colombia, it was it was just like one of those you're pushing through like I was so pushing dirt. for Colombia. No, we were all pushing for. But Columbia. they got that equalizer too. But, that gave everyone then, hope too. And then the penalties. The penalties Listen, just heartbreaking. Russia but either way, was the game that I enjoyed the most when Russia. Got Got Spain out of the world. That was no joke. I can't oh, believe it. I Russia played so smart. Spain, they granted us the Spain, penalties. On and on and on. Pass left and right, left <laughs> and right, left and right. Again, back and forth. Bam, 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 bam. Never straight into the net. So uh, Russia waited first 90 minutes, then another 30 minutes. They went to the penalty kick and they put Spain out of the misery. How do you like that? <laughs> well, for me, um, there was not that much surprises because um, ah, if, you, if you go and check yeah. the teams that I chose, Genio. I, I got seven <laughs> out of eight teams correct. And the only one that I chose um, that I went against was Sweden because Sweden had eliminated Italy. So I didn't go with my head. Gotta, are I you sure you have Did you change any? I didn't change any. I got a sure? picture. What's the matter with you? I <laughs> got a picture you can't take two pictures? Of uh, the uh, what we chose, so I got seven out of eight, right? Give me my so, I, nothing, no I surprise. Got it. I got it right. No, no surprise on those matches. Hold on. 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 I'll read. I'll read, and we'll count. Somebody count how many we got right. So I'll go with me first. Hold on. You're counting on Pelton. I put. I put Portugal. So one wrong. Uh, Argentina one. I I put. Yeah, that, that's what I put. That was that was a bad one. I put Brazil. I don't know. How, did, how the hell you guys have Brazil? That, that should have been an, yeah, an easy one, no? Wait, so how many? Um, I had Portugal. No, I didn't. Yeah, I had Portugal. I had Argentina. So that's two wrong. Brazil, yes. Belgium. Belgium yeah. won, right? Yes. Um, Spain. Ow. Wrong. Wow. That's wrong. three wrong. Croatia. That was good. That's good. Sweden. That's good. good. England. Good. So how many I got wrong? Three wrong? Four. What, mm. what do you mean four? four. Say it again. I got Portugal, Argentina. And Spain. And that's a, it. There's that's one it. more. Portugal, Argentina, Spain. Four? Yeah, no, no, he's got uh, three. Three. three wrong. This guy's trying to cheat me. No, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. We go to Michael. Portugal, out. Wrong. Okay. Brazil, in. Yes. in. Argentina, wrong. Out, two. Belgium, you're right. Spain, you're wrong. Three. Croatia, I got. You got it. Sweden, you I got. got. Colombia, four. So you got four wrong. Four wrong. Let's yeah. see me. Okay, Antonio. Colombia had faith Antonio in Antonio put Uruguay. Listen, I give you some respect for that one. Antonio. That was good. You put France. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mexico. One That's wrong. One wrong for Antonio. Um, you put Belgium, correct. You put Spain. Two, two wrong. wrong. You put Croatia, correct. You put Switzerland. Three wrong. Three wrong. And you put Colombia. Four, Four wrong. wrong. You and Mike at the bottom. Oh, no. Now Gaetano. Ay, Uruguay. Ay, ay, ay. Who would have knew? France. Look how happy he's. Look at that grid. Brazil. <laughs> Belgium. Russia. How did you get Russia? Yeah. How did you get the Russia? The reason why I took you, Russia. You, you, you yeah. cheated somehow. No, no, no. Please here. tell us. The, way, tell us. the reason why I got Russia is because I was so upset at Spain <laughs> letting the coach go one day before the World Cup starts. You let the coach go <laughs> because he got a job. Are you out of your mind? I mean, the team has been with this 
with this coach for years. They all he's the leader. He's there. They're all excited. Mm -hmm. The next day, tomorrow, the World Cup starts, and you firing the Gaetano. coach. That I didn't but forgive don't you the federation. But don't you respect that? Because they le they left the statement. They're like, listen, no, you're guys, with, you don't respect no, that statement. About this already. We talked about this already, guys. He got one Jeez. wrong. He got Switzerland. He's lucky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not because he's better than nah. He's he's lucky. Lucky. He thinks he's better than the rest of us over there. baby playing with lollipops. <laughs> and I'm on the blue, red, and white. So playing with the lollipops. Jesus uh, Christ. I want to see you. I can't. He's lucky. He got, they both got four wrong. I got three wrong. I can't wrong. hear you from you the bottom of the wrong. table, right? Mike, you're right next to him over there. You can't be laughing too much. Have a drink. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was crazy. The, the World Cup, it was definitely exciting. Uh, we got, we're going to predict the next round? Yeah, let's predict that. Yeah, let's predict the next round. Okay. Yeah, Uruguay, France. It's all, I could just go off my dad's sheet right here. You want to just write it no, there? No, no, no. I paper. have no more room. Write it on your oh. computer. Uruguay, France. So. Yeah, I want a cup. I want a picture. Mm. Okay, I'll make sure. Uruguay, picture. France. Okay, let me write the names first. We got Anto. We got... You're not going to have enough room. Dan, of course I am. What's my name? Mike. Mm. And Cologio. Cologio. Okay, yeah. Uruguay, France. I got France. Marco, France? Mm. Yeah. Okay. What do you have? Alright, we'll go this way and then we'll go that way. Gaetano, go. Alright, I got France. You got France? Okay. Friends. You got friends? Yeah, okay. I, I mean, I want to pick you to why, but. Uh, but but, but Gaetano said heart. France, so no, you're going to go France. Follow your father. Follow your father. I don't like Antonio. the idea that Cavano is injured, so uh, yeah. Cavani is injured, so yeah. I have to go with France. France? Okay. I'm going to hop on the bank with you guys. There's no way you're going to win this. The next game, you. You okay. go first this time. Okay. Oh, we're gonna do Russia, a little switch Russia, Croatia. I want to hear what Gaetano has to say first. Pick up Croatia. <laughs> Send me a message. Russia, Croatia. 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 I think Russia. Bye bye. Grande Croatia. Okay. My, Antonio. Uh, Antonio. Croatia. 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 Just go Croatia. We all got Croatia. He's gonna pick Russia. Why? Gaetano. Russia. Oh, oh, oh. oh. He's thinking about. Ungenio. What, what's yeah, on your mind? Gonna, gonna put some uh, some uh, something on the food. Uh, yeah, I didn't Croatia. like uh, I didn't like the way Croatia played. Uh, even though I picked them, I don't like the way they, they played. They had a hard game. They had a Russia. difficult come on, game. Come on, Russia. Come on. Russia. Come on, Genio. Russia. Yeah, put Russia. 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 Put Russia. Russia. <laughs> Gaetano, Russia? Yeah. Final answer? Yeah. Wait. And he's thinking about it. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, wow. Let me think about it. Oh, no, he's, he's scoring. He scored. He scored. Okay, Russia. Professor, what do we got? All right, put Russia. <laughs> oh, okay. What? I'm going to be different than you guys. I like that. Okay. No you get wrong. You right. get wrong. <laughs> next. <laughs> What's the next game? What's the next one? Uh, Switzerland, uh, Br no, Brazil, uh, Belgium. Go ahead. Oh you my God. I'm so sad to say this, Brazil, unfortunately. I wish Belgium could do it. Belgium was lucky to, to what they did. You saw what they did with Japan? I want to give Japan some respect. I love what Japan did this World Cup. From on and off the field, I love Japan. So what are you saying? But I was going for Belgium to win that one. What you Michael saying? wasn't. He was upset. You. So oh, Brazil. Good. Yeah, Brazil. Brazil. Both got Brazil. Mm. Go. Now, all of a sudden, Antonio was going to say Belgium. Now, you, Belgium's your pick to win it. It was for last year, four years ago. I mean, four years ago. We weren't here four years ago. <laughs> it was Croatia now. Oh, Croatia, okay. So, uh, you know what? I'll take my chance. Belgium. Grande, Anto. I hope you're right, Anto. Belgium. I pray that you're right. Okay, I'm not crazy like the rest of you guys. So. What do you mean the rest of us? Antonio's what do you the pick? only one who chose something. Um, I'm, Brazil? I'm going with Brazil. Okay. We all pick Brazil except him. Because I'm mentally sane. Yeah. Mentally sane. You got four wrong. Okay, Sweden, England. <laughs> you go first. Sweden. Sweden. Mike. Sweden, England. Sweden, England. 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 Okay, England. Continue. I got to say, I'm going to make a comment before this. Sweden has been an unbelievable team. <laughs> we know what's like coming they, out. I feel like they can't Sweden. lose. I feel like Not Sweden, that I like Sweden, but I uh, feel like Sweden can't lose. But England has the luck of it's incredible. There's no way that Colombia scores their their first goal, England misses, and then they come back and get these two. I couldn't believe it. But Sweden is a nice defensive, solid team. But but uh oh. And as much as I really think that Sweden is going to do this, like I feel like they might end up in like the semifinals. I feel like the English luck is going to push through. That's but right. I'm also doing I'm doing my little, I picked Argentina, but I really wanted France. You know, like I love more in your mind games. More in your mind games. <laughs> but I'm going to say, I'll say England. Okay, in England. But come on, Sweden. So, so Antonio is the only one that said Sweden. Hold on. He, what did he say? He said Sweden. England. He said England. He said England, I mean. Uh, what did you say? Take a picture. Wait, what did you say? England. Oh, okay, is that it? Wait, you picked Sweden, right? Sweden. Make sure that picture, Mark, make sure he's not doing anything with that oh, camera. Oh, man. I can't even read this. Exactly. <laughs> 
Can how did you write? <laughs> what does that say? If he, he, he wrote it in Greek. <laughs> Don't worry, we have what a, the we hell have is footage. this? We have the footage. Mike, get the questions. Uh, that shows I, I'm the only one that knows how to read this. So. Like, <laughs> oh my! You guys are making a photo shoot. Guys, we have a video and an audio file over here. <laughs> okay, Mike. Uh, okay. One thing on the on the World Cup. <laughs> These guys, yeah. Am I uh, the only one that thinks uh, that Coutinho is overrated? Overrated? I don't think you're the only one. I wouldn't. I, how much are you rating him? Yeah. Well, you know, the guy is going for. Uh, you're talking about a hundred million. You know, the guy was sold for a hundred million dollars. Is he at the level? Of the the players that are no. worth a hundred million dollars, yeah, no, but, 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 but most of these aren't. A lot of these aren't. So at the end of the Not day, Cristiano Ronaldo. Plus yeah, he's no, Brazilian, Cristiano so it gives a little bit more. Cristiano Ronaldo is worth uh, much more than hundred million. And Give me a price value on him. You know, I, I don't know. I, I don't see him. The last game, the game before, maybe he had one good game when he scored a nice goal. I mean, too. You know, that, but then, you know, he's he's just a normal player to me. Is a but normal Dybala player. But is a much better player. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Nobody's understanding how good Dybala is. I, I, he kept, I, agree. I wish he Dybala can come play him. Dybala Simon. and Aguero oh. on the bench of this oh, Argentina Oh, uh, this game. guy Guys. from Argentina. Guys. Guys. Now that you brought mini it up. Mini-me. Mini 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 <laughs> this guy from Argentina, he had four of the best forwards in the world. And he puts best. He had Dybala, <laughs> Higuain, Aguero, and Icardi. With Bandanara on, on, on the Icardi, <laughs> he left them home, and the three forwards, he put him on the bench. Man. I mean, but what kind of a coach? What Pavone kind of coach is this? Pavone Meza. That's what I mean, he put it. That was, it blew my mind. Yeah, I mean, he it, needed did, a goal. Did and they, they were in. they allowed to go back to... Um, to Argentina? Oh, yeah. Did yeah. the plane? Did they have a visa to, to live in Russia? Did the plane ever made it back? Antoine, or uh, everybody uh, left. Messi, Messi went straight left. Left. to Barcelona. Yeah, I think Messi went straight. And he was mad. They got like yeah. a video. He was just looking down. Yeah, yeah, too. yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, think a lot of them. I'm so sorry oh, to the, hear the, that. Messi Dybala, looks looked bad. Dybala actually went to Argentina. Yeah, Dybala went to Argentina. I'm not sure about that. But a few of them, they all went. Iguain's dad yesterday. He came out. He says. What kind of coach leaves 600 goals? He says how many goals Aguero and Iguain has. When you need a goal, you leave the guys who have 600 goals on the bench. Maradona oh. was losing it. Maradona then was supporting Colombia. Everything that Maradona supports, and they ended up losing it. Everybody was upset about oh, that. Man. But yeah, Sampaoli, Sampaoli still, he pulled a Ventura. He pulled, well, we didn't fail. That's what he said. <laughs> we didn't fail. He goes, That's I'm not, not going to resign. You're not going to resign? I give him the benefit of the doubt. i tell you one thing, the Argentinian Federation is struggling big, big time. They might be worse than the Fiji The, the yeah, thing yeah, is, they, I don't think they, they have, have any so money. much talent. They too. might be worse than the, with, with how much they have, they might be worse than the Fiji Chief. Guys, in, this is one the thing that has been lost into this conversation, not with us only. With Guys, wait, can we, can we say before, sorry to cut you off, yeah. how incredible Mbappe was? I am I'm, I'm the first person to be against overhyping players like Coutinho. I hate it. I always say that to overhype Mbappe at the times that he's needed. He's really been. I want to see him lately. more. I want to yeah, see, see him more. more. I see but you gotta more. admit, yeah, he's good and he's so young. Uh, when you're 19? down, he's 19 years oh, old. There hasn't there hasn't there hasn't been there hasn't been, only. there hasn't been a player speed and that's it. There hasn't been a player, a teenager, to score two world two goals at a World Cup since Pelé. I mean, the Bobby. guy the deal, is unbelievable. He ran 70 yards or more, and he went through like five, six guys at a, at a top speed with the faster ball. Faster than Usain Bolt, right? It's a fact that he ran faster than Usain Bolt on that play. <laughs> he ran faster than Usain Bolt. 70 yards. 70 meters or 70 yards? I don't I think remember. It's, 70 it's, meters. it's almost yeah. the same thing. 70 yards, it's like 100 yards. It's one from one end to the other. Of, oh, of okay, field. okay. It so was close to meters. that. It was like almost three-fourths. Of the oh. field, close to that, mm. and it was faster. They said it clocked in faster than Usain Bolt's run, mm. which is ridiculous because you're also dribbling a ball and running through yeah, defenders. Yeah, you You got the guy next to you. No, the guy. He was incredible. He, he, he was, was really um, good. He was really good. I mean, yes. and the thing is, the thing that I like about this kid, 19 years, he's not afraid to take on players. Yeah. I mean, he's inside the area. He will take on players. Yeah. That you have, you and and some, some players, you know, they are afraid. Once they get in close to the area, they're Especially if they're young. They're afraid yeah. to take on players. Yeah. You got one die, player to be. Yeah. No, what they do, Gatano. What do they do? Defenders. What? They, did you say they, they dive? dive? Yeah. No. They listen. dive? Yeah, they dive. Marco. Do, do we know anybody <laughs> that dives? 
Cristiano Ronaldo. Neymar. Neymar. Oh boy. Do you have a video for Neymar? Can I show a video? Show the video. For Neymar. I really want to show this video. But would they be able to see it? We'll say it. We'll pop it up on the screen. Just show it to us. Oh, I see this. Oh, this is what he's teaching the kids. This is what he's teaching our kids. Oh, this is it. Hey, at least people are talking about it, right? Okay. I hope they more show that video. This sounds like you in a, when we play on Sundays. What does that tell you after? What does that tell you after you watch that video? That those are the people. Those are the role models for the young. No, the they're young. not role models. Not this. Listen to me. You're just not listening. <laughs> <laughs> when you ask your Listen. father, ask your father. Forty years ago, fifty years ago. Okay, no one that I remember playing soccer had a tattoo on a body. A mohawk, right? He was pulling the shorts up before <laughs> taking a free kick. He had the the the, the hairstyle with all the, the this kind of a crazy stuff. <laughs> the ball color is here, by yeah. the way. No, but am I against that? No, but this today today's soccer. It's more about the image of the player, it not is. the skill of the it player. Is. It Guys, is. Guys, take a look at Paulo Di Paulo Di Bali oh, that is here today. On. So, what do you think of this? Sometimes you need uh, to change a little bit. I think he's trying to take the. There was too much attention on Ronaldo, so he needed to do something. <laughs> so, so, I mean, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is. We got caught in this stupid media, like all of you guys, Facebook, <laughs> Instagram, and all the stuff. That's what we're doing. Without that the they media. really don't care about the technical aspect of true, the game. It's they true. watch, oh, he's got a new tattoo. That's oh, true. look at him. He works out. His muscles look bigger than the other. Oh, his ass looks a little smaller. <laughs> Maybe you're looking Listen, at that, Uncle. Come on. <laughs> guys, guys, Listen, guys. Any, anybody that... Uh, 50 years ago, there was none of this stuff. Yeah, but it, if right we talk now, to your dad, then he would say the same thing. He'd say, oh, back in my day, it wasn't like this. And then you'll be like, come on. It's always going to be like this. It's always, always going to get, get like worse. This. It's always going to. Oh, uh, well, it's a worse or different. We're different. 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 I'm sorry. We, so we, we, value, we, we just value Neymar, all of those. It's different for dollars. us too, Anto, though, too. When we grew up, it wasn't as to that extent. I see kids now that it's it's more about what did Griezmann post? How did Griezmann celebrate his goal? Because he did the celebration that's, you know, a new video game right now, which is why they love him. But you 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 can't you what are you gonna do fight against every kid that that you likes that? It's just is, how it is. You gotta go with yeah, what the generation is. Those, or those you kids lose. that wanna watch CR7 with all of those tattoos, they're gonna go home. He doesn't have a head. tattoo. He has no tattoo. Yeah, yeah, CR7. Because, because, because he wants it because he donates blood. No, he doesn't yeah. have any tattoos. He actually doesn't. No, not the fact. Yeah, yeah. No, he doesn't. Yeah. What about Neymar? I mean, no, no, no. Messi and Neymar, they have. I think he has neck tattoos, yeah, right? Yeah, they have. How about Nangolan? Anyway, Nangolan doesn't have any tattoos. He's got the old body tattoo. Love Nangolan. As far as what? No, no, go ahead. Uh, no, that's I, I'm going to pull it up now. No, the, oh, I wanted to say about Gentile. We, I sent you guys that quote like from Gentile that. Like that. who said that um, they asked him, what, what would you do with Neymar today? And he said he can't say what he would do. And he was just saying, I saw the other day that this guy got hit in the shoulder and he grabs his face. And I know, Dad, you were saying this even on the last podcast. Everybody grabs their face so that the referee has to stop oh, the fake. game. Yeah, oh, and he said that this would never happen in his time. So I love that quote from Gentile. Made me made me laugh. There was a there was a funny also quote. I think it was from Bleacher Report or somebody else that said that Neymar has spent fourteen minutes on the ground. Fourteen minutes during, faking, throughout this, faking injury. Well, I'm not gonna say faking. Just I'm just saying ground. that he's fourteen yeah, minutes the on the ground. Is. Yeah, which is faking. ridiculous. Because he wants just to send he, a message. He, he spent doing. more time on the ground than Dybala did the entire World Cup tournament. Oh my Listen, God. To, Listen yeah. to that. Those players have been told that for psych, for psychological reasons you have to stay longer on the floor so you can. Uh, you can influence the referee's next call on you, whether it's a right call or whether it's a wrong call. Oh, they he's ruining his team. You. He's ruining his team. He's boy with pride. That's what I'm saying. Then no. when he gets no down, when no he gets out, when when Marcelo hit him last time, almost broke his back. If it was Marcelo, listen, I'm just saying I don't like Neymar. I haven't been a fan of Neymar because to me he's another hyped up player. Not that his skills, he would be an incredible freestyler. No, he's a good talent, but, but yeah, yeah, he's the guy, on. the guy. I mean, come on. To me, when when he got stepped on, it was clearly. Uh, you know, maybe he did get stepped on bad, but you don't need to roll 50 times. Like, it's unnecessary. It's unnecessary. Yeah, it's a little... Uh, but it's excessive. They, they they, somebody pointed out that, that when the guy stepped on him, the only uh, time that he started rolling is when the guy left. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, when the foot was off... You know, th then he, he really he said, oh, oh, maybe the pain kicked in an hour later. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, then he started rolling. So, 
Um, <laughs> you know what? He's such a he's such a talent. I mean, the guy. You don't got, need that. He's got, got talent, right. Exactly. You got you got the talent. You got the skills. You got the speed. You got everything going for you. You're that. I mean, he's getting criticized from all the kids that now they're meeting him being stupid. Even um, I think there was an English politician now that uh, criticized Neymar for for the complaining. I mean. Just play, just play yeah. soccer, yeah. you know, go there, enjoy the game, do whatever you know how to do best and, and play. And every uh, every game it changes its color of the hair and, and, and different hairstyle. And, you know, something is um, is not there. It's nice when you see some, some somebody with that talent, but also has got a mind, you know, that you can see that is mature and um, it's nice to see that but Neymar is a different is, message to that yeah, is this a point is this a point on, on when it comes uh, to that and this kid um, Bappe I don't, know, I don't know anything about him but it seems like uh, yeah. okay. he, he's, he's not as flashy like, yeah. he's no. not you know he just looks like go he there, play. do your best do the best thing and and that's it you know I, I saw an, uh, an interview with uh, Roberto Baggio he was with Guardiola and they were talking about you know the big big superstars says, you you know just do what you know how to do best don't worry about everything else about the media about those things just concentrate this is what you do best just concentrate on that and then you got your family you got your friends that's all you need listen i want to say a couple of things uh, that are really it. still st stuck in on my mind is this a rant no it's when uh, griezmann uh, after the game he he just, uh, you know, during an interview and all the stuff, he just shouted, Viva la France. In other words, those are players that when they wear their national jersey, they take full pride and they take it seriously about what they have to do. To win, to, they, uh, they'll just die just to win. So that's what I didn't see in the Italian national team the last time we, were, we got kicked out. And this is the spirit that I wish Mancini can just start to, you know, engrave into the the blood cell of the of the Italian national uh, uh, you know uh, players so we wanted to see somebody wearing that jersey and just take him seriously in other words enjoy the game but I want you to to die for the team I understand? agree and okay. we've seen a lot of that throughout and the World for Cup the records, for the records when we say I don't like Ronaldo I don't like Neymar I don't like it's not that we hate them I said we don't like their style we don't like other stuff, but we do not hate anybody. In this platform, everybody is loved. We just dislike their way of playing or their way of showing off or things like that. Well, but there is no or Mourinho. Well, and Ventura. You know, That's the first well, one that you hate. Yeah, we Ventura, don't, Ventura, we, we, Ventura, no. We hate Mourinho, what he does to the players. You, a, you hate but Mourinho. But as a person, we can still, uh, I can have a coffee with Mourinho. I have no That's problem with, uh, with Mourinho. So, uh, we can talk about golf or something so, different. Right? Yeah, we can talk about golf or, uh, <laughs> you know, but you fishing. Hate, you said you hate Cassano too. No way. Cassano is the <laughs> love of my life. <laughs> Mike, so anyway, get those questions ready Mike. Yeah. Oh, we have a question now Mike. Yeah, of course we right, right. Right. we sent out those emails, emails you know. Okay. Oh, yeah. Make sure they find it. They, they, we got they a fresh one from Hamza Hassan. He said uh, if Ronaldo comes uh, to the Serie A do you think he'll be top goal scorer considering the fact that the midfield won't be as good as Real Madrid's? Who cares? Let's get him to Serie A I know but what do you think? This is an interesting question. Uh, no. I don't no. think first season. No. I, don't I don't think, think, so. think so. Ronaldo is not going to be scoring more goal than uh, um, Immobile. Immobile and maybe even uh, 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 Van Danara's husband. Icardi? Icardi. Icardi. Yeah. Okay. yeah, that he was left unjustly in Milan while uh, Argentina was getting their ass kicked. Poorly. It's going to be tougher, much tougher than he thinks. Not that I like Icardi. I mean, don't get me no, wrong. He, I mean, we know I like Icardi as a person. <laughs> so. <laughs> He's an amazing goal team. scorer. I thought he was playing the politician. Yeah. <laughs> we, know, we know how many uh, players have been to around the leagues, and so many, countless amount of them said that the Serie A has been the hardest league to score in. And, Not easy. And, that's, and, that's why and, Ronaldo and wants to be the best, too. And it's been like that for He's years, even though the Serie A has been down. Because he oh, knows okay. that Serie A is a competition that you need to perform in. Gaetan, I want to hear your opinion. Yeah, I think so. I think he, he can elevate uh, and uh, be one of the top scorers. But, the, from but the first, it's going to be from hard, though, right? Anyway, let's make him top goal scorer in Champions League. So, Mike, what else? Okay, um, let's see what we got here. Okay, this is actually a new guy. Uh, he's he's not a Serie A fan. He's starting to get into it now because of Ronaldo. He's actually saying, oh, wow. I never really watch a league, but what team should I root for? What team's exciting? Juventus. Hey, Juventus. Juventus. Hey, Juventus. <laughs> That's it. He's the team that has won the most in the history 
of Italy Champions League, <laughs> campionati, international well. trophy, I mean Coppa UEFA. Are you talking about Cup Inter? Team, Inter? In Milan, Milan. Inter. Inter. Okay. okay, if you're a Milan fan, you're invited over here on the podcast. We'll get you an AC Milan shirt too. <laughs> I think there's a lot too. I think Lazio too. I think yeah, Lazio is a great side. And Zaghi's amazing. Roma's doing great Fiorentina. stuff over there. There's just so many. Roma's teams. an exciting team to support. Any team by Juventus and Inter, you can pick up. <laughs> um, okay, Marco. Uh, this from Adam Ahmed. This uh, this is geared towards Marco. Do you still want to punch Ronaldo in the face? I think he's referring to when he scored the bicycle kick against Juventus <laughs> in the Champions League. Uh, and what been, happened now? I've been, I've been getting that a lot. Yeah. Okay, listen, 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 listen. I'm a competitive person. When you play against me, I don't care if I play against Antonio, I don't care if I play against my dad. If me and Michael, whenever we compete in something, I get mad. When you say something against him, and Ronaldo, a person who's a winner and is competitive like me, would understand. Listen, I say it to anybody and everybody. So that's what I think. But I will say he's got to stop with his diving and exaggerating. Because even at the World Cup, he does it. At Juventus, that will not be accepted. Cuadrado already does it too much at Juventus, and mm. he steals the show on that. So I hope from – but Ronaldo, the one thing I've never denied, though, is how incredible Ronaldo is and that I've always – felt like Ronaldo has worked harder for what he has than Messi has. And I appreciated how Ronaldo would step up, like Portugal versus Spain, how Ronaldo stepped up. I always liked that as a winner. And the goal he scored against Juventus, well, I still don't agree with the clapping. And they say, now everybody's messaging me, oh, the clapping is what's bringing Ronaldo to Juventus. I still will never clap for him. I do respect him, man. And I hope he comes to Italy and Juventus. It's not going to look good in, on a Juventus jersey. Oh, it's going to look jersey. beautiful. I don't know. Okay, next. Uh, next question. Uh, now, why do you care about how people look in the jersey now? You just went uh, a whole... I think, uh, I think any player look. with an AC Milan jersey will look wonderful. It's just the color. It's the rosso nero. Mm. Mm. Okay, uh, let's get another one. Uh, this one's, I think, for Antonio. Oh, it says, why are you even going to waste 100 mil on Ronaldo when Cassano's available for free? Antonio, <laughs> no what way. do you think? <laughs> you no think way. Do you think it's no a way, waste? No way, what? Listen, Cassano <laughs> will pay for free for Juventus only, only if he's getting $100 million worth of a, of a Ferrari, Lamborghini, and everything else. Then it's the only time... You, mi you missed the point of the question. They're saying, why are they spending for Ronaldo know, when they can get I it for know, Cassano? Because Juventus is a stupid team. <laughs> oh, they don't God. see the talent. All they wanted to see, they want to sell T-shirts and... Uh, and uh, you know tickets with uh, how much do you think he's worth? His actual or just price value in terms Cassano? of play? No, 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 Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Mm, honestly, if I ever see the average, I mean, what, what everybody else is getting yeah. paid in Italy, no more than twenty million, twenty-five million. <laughs> Wait, salary or yeah, salary? Fee? No, no, I know no. What I'm the, saying fee. Oh, to, to be bought, to be to bought, be bought yeah. Yeah, yeah, twenty-five, thirty million, top, <laughs> top, thirty million. You're great. You, you can't, can't, you get can't get anyone for that. Anyway. What do you think? Kalinic is, 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 oh is going for 20 It's not any better than Kalinic. Oh my god, wow. Anto. Okay. I thought you stepped this right. to the next no level. Comment. Let's next. get one more. Christian, uh, is Ronaldo the missing piece of a puzzle? Yo, for Ronaldo. Yeah, uh, come Ronaldo. on, are you kidding me? This is the biggest thing. Is Ronaldo the missing piece of the puzzle for Juve? And who else should Juve get to fortify their team? Ronaldo, yes, 100%. If, you, if you're if you looking for a winner, you need a winner. Who do you call? Ronaldo. Who, who else? But they, they already got four or five new players already. Don't worry. Are they missing anyone else? Uh, they got the Cancelo. Midfield, the, they midfield. Got Cancelo. the midfield is still not good. Come on. They the have midfield a, is terrible. It's still terrible? Yeah, what are you talking terrible. about? Sturado's got to go. Sturado's got to go. I know. He's got to go. And Ronaldo's got to come in. What do you think? Um, what about Marquisio? Don't you know, not, not good enough for Juventus yeah, anymore. Right. Now everybody's gonna beg to stay at Juventus now. Yeah, probably it will. Uh, it will stay. I mean, they they bought already f five players, uh, so I think with uh, with Ronaldo, uh, that would be it. That, no. That's the yeah. That would be enough. Next. Okay, let's do one more. One more. <laughs> uh, what do you guys uh, think with Milan? What, what's gonna end up happening? We should see some stalling. Good question. Right. Everybody's been asking us, guys, what's happening. <sighs> Again, there's nothing concrete, nothing. Listen, really my been take is this: yeah, the, Chinese, the Chinese group is waiting until the last second. They're gonna, they're gonna probably come up with the money, okay, mm -hmm. to pay to pay Ross over there, the thirty-two million dollar. Elliot. Then, Elliot. okay, uh, whatever. Then mm -hmm. what they're gonna do? They're gonna say to Comiso, they're gonna say, hey, listen, Rocco, AC Milan is back into Europe. You're not gonna be losing any seasons and all the stuff. So then the price when is going up for you. So that's what I think the game that they're playing. They're playing this mental game. They know, somehow they know mm -hmm. that you come up with the money and all the stuff by Friday. Yeah. So things they're gonna be, they're gonna, you know, all of those big bumps are gonna be smoothed out and then they're gonna be able to just throw another pitch to Rocco and then say, Rocco, you're still interested? This is the price now. If you want it, take it. If you don't want it, 
we're gonna look for somebody else we'll see we'll see what happens and we'll, we'll stay updated with the situation but i think people also need to realize young hong lee who spent a lot of money for milan to buy milan took him two years of negotiations with berlusconi and he put 250 million into the club a year ago he's not going to just sell very quickly it's going to be intense negotiations that take some time Intense so, negotiation. They've yeah. been negotiating for almost uh, six months right now. Not six months. It's been like a month. And we're talking about, we're not talking about hundreds of millions of dollars, but they're, they're coming up short. They're coming up short for $32 million. Yeah, so no, that's great. That's ridiculous. It's taking them so long that's to ridiculous. figure those things out. Yeah, that yeah, means yeah. they're not interested. Yeah, that's $32 ridiculous. $32 million is a chop change. You give them as a tip to a waiter. Okay, when Whoa, you I got chop to the right people. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, when you're in Simlan, when you have a team like in Simlan, $32 million is not, <laughs> nothing. So, uh, yeah, you're, I think they're playing games. They're playing they're games. Playing games. Yeah, yeah, they are. Definitely. In Italy, we call it tira and mola. Pull and give. Yeah, Pull yeah. and give. Pull and give. Yeah, these guys are just, they're, they're not serious. So if you want one. If you guys one, are still watching this, comment down below too. Say uh, say you got up to this far. Yes. So, so as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to comment your thoughts on everything that we said uh, down below. Antonio. And Antonio. Guys, don't forget to rate the podcast with... Five stars. Five stars. There we go. Oh, As always, guys, thank you for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Ciao, ragazzi.